family, friends, fellow gamers, veterans, educators, and students, welcome to Grumpy Gnome Gaming. Some of you know why I'm laughing right now. <laughs> this is do or die for us. So uh, welcome to Grumpy Gnome Gaming. I am Grumpy Gnome. Let's get some grump on in Banished baby oh geez are we gonna make it here we go let let's let's have some fun with this okay um for those of you that don't know what's going on you know spoiler alert uh we've had two two series of starvations that have just totally wiped out our population now we are doing our third attempt with a zero start population and we are relying on nomads to get this town up and running. And I'm going to do some really quick changes in the beginning. At first, I need to give a shout out to uh, one of my faithful viewers, Saskia. For You know what? I never even finished replying to your comments. But Saskia has given me some tips along the way. And I did reply to her in one comment where I did say that I would much rather have you guys, the viewers, steer my game in a particular direction rather than having myself just do the same playthrough over and over and over and over and over again. I mean, the only thing I really change up are the themes, but when you guys interact with me on these games, that makes the game so much more interesting. It just brings a whole new aspect into it, and I appreciate that. So thank you very, 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 very much. Um, also, <laughs> Ese de Hambre. Oh, what's up, Vato? Hey, um, I appreciate your extended comment <laughs> in the uh, game. Uh, muchas gracias para the um, suggestion or... Uh, so Gentiencia, whichever one you want to you want to play off of. But uh, gracias, hombre. I, I appreciate you um, giving a very winded criticism <laughs> to the game. And you know what? By golly, I am going to follow your criticism and I accept your challenge. So the next game season call it what you want challenge that we do is going to be a five speed or higher challenge with no pause i mean essay you found my achilles heel with that pause button and you're calling me out on it so i am going to attempt to do it without pausing and that's going to kill me so anyway you know what we're going to do i'm going to get this game running and while we're running i'm going to go ahead and tell you what i want to do so let's resume me and the first thing i'm going to do is put every single building either on pause or just maybe even destroy it that would not break my heart to be honest with you but what i'm getting out of the gameplay gosh i don't want to destroy these but i don't want people moving into them either and you know what i'm gonna take out oh, whoa that oh, okay i'm gonna take out these houses because I, these, you know what I really want to do is maybe just rebuild the whole downtown area, but not now. I don't want to do it yet. Um, you know what, I think um, in order to prevent people from moving into these houses, I think what I'm going to have to do is this. And then we'll see what goes on from there. Something tells me I could level. There's no need to level them. But this is overkill right here. 
I mean, this was all these little markets, these vendors. And I'll tell you what, I was like the fat kid in Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory that just, oh my God, I have to have it all. And that's when I saw these buildings, that's exactly what I thought. And you know, that whole mentality really threw off my gameplay because I totally neglected all the rules and banished that you need for survival. And doggone it. Yeah, that just totally threw off my gameplay how do we there we go i mean they're still gonna come by and stop here but i'm just trying to take out everything in the beginning does this have a pause on it i didn't think so they're just gonna run over there and get happy but everything here is paused or getting deleted because i don't want people moving into these buildings so you know what? I think I'm going to have to do that with those two. Okay, now let's go back across the creek over to here. Um, I'm only going to leave my essentials open. I know this fishing dock produces a lot, so I'm going to leave it open. This one can go on pause because it is not going to be as productive. The mines... We're not even going to worry about mines for, for a while. What I'm going to do there, I'm going to start collecting natural resources. And even down here, I mean, Saskia says keep the farm plots, which we will do. But I'm going to put my farm plot on pause for now, only because... Go, I mean, going back to the essentials, what I need my nomads to do is to focus in one area and do not expand out of that area. And so we're going to first, hey, Farmer Jane Doe, thank you so much for the subscribe. I did see that. And... I appreciate having you along. Welcome to the stream. Um, if we're lucky, Saskia and Marlene will join us. And I don't know if you had the opportunity to see the long stream that um, Essay de Ombre left us. But this, um, we're starting, I'm not going to say we're starting over, but we're going to try to resurrect this build and basically what i'm doing is i am going to centralize i'm going to start in one area and only focus on one area that way we're not going all over the place with our population where is my ring of influence here it's right there so you know what we're going to do oh, wait i've got a woodcutter in here but I'm going back to basics. I'm going back to where we're going to start in a node. And then once we get healthy, then we're going to expand out. As you can see, I put everything over here on pause or destruct. The fishing dock says, I don't want anybody over there. That's our goal. As a matter of fact, I don't even know if I want people down here. Because we're going to have to see how many nomads we attract first. So let's, I'm going to go ahead and actually shut down. I don't want to destroy the houses. No, doggone it. I'm going to leave it open. But let's see what we can do here. I want this ring of influence so I can put in a mini. I'm going back to my minis. Uh, blacksmith, where's my mini one? Is it over here? That's the tiny. I think that is what I... No, I want the mini one. Mini, mini... Um, mini? No. Mini? Mini? No. Okay. Where's my mini? Well, that's not it. And if I can't find my mini, then you know what? 
Saskia has suggested we go with the Biddy. She wanted to see a Biddy woodcutter, and she wanted to see rabbits. So we may entertain that. I don't know why I can't find the mini in there. Marlene! Ha! Whoa, you came by. Sorry, I missed a couple streams. What's up, new town? Yeah, actually, um, this town, <laughs> you inspired me on this town. This is uh, the Danish town of Solvang. And I'm going to give you a brief, uh, you know, I got to get them running. That's what we need. And I'm going to listen to uh, to SA and I'm going to run five speed. This is not the no pause challenge, but you know what? Doggone it. We're going 10 because what we need is nomads. Marlene, I'm going to say you did not miss anything, but you missed a lot. <laughs> you missed two of the um, starvations and the last one totally wiped us out we have a zero population right now so what we're basically doing is we are starting from nothing i went ahead and i either deleted or paused every building over here that is non-essential because I was so ambitious to build up downtown Solvang here with all the medieval buildings that I totally neglected the basics of survival in this game. So that's what we're doing now. We're waiting for nomads to come in. Play. Ah, thank you. We're waiting for nomads to come in and then we're going to attempt to repopulate this map. So, it's going to be slow in the beginning, but bear with me. We will make this happen somehow. I wanted the tiny... I have a woodcutter back here that will work. So, it's not that we're going without a woodcutter, but... I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is put a pause on all of these buildings down here. Okay, wow, no idea Solvang was so dramatic. <laughs> well, you know what? I We actually went through Solvang on our way back from, from Portland. And we went to this one restaurant where we uh, had a really, real. I didn't even set my timer, doggone it. We had a, a really cool dinner. I'm sorry, lunch. And just getting influenced by all of the um, the names that came up, that was um, like, for instance, some of the artwork. And this one really, this is the, uh, the menu over at this place and you're gonna recognize a lot of this but let me get it right there there you go these things here and um so we um i got the i just got the motivation let's do the town of of solvang and over here i really started laying out i i think that the medieval theme was the best one to go by and I just got so distracted by putting in a warehouse store because it's all stores. And while while we were sitting in the restaurant, I read the history of Solvang. And apparently the town was founded by three educators, Danish, and they had the vision of, an, of creating a Danish art and craft district town. And so I kind of themed that around the build here, but um, I got overly caught up in the downtown district of Solvang. And if I had the opportunity to do this map over again, I would have started in a chronological order. So we would have started with the Native Americans 
that originally had the area. And then the Spaniards came in and they built their missions. Okay, so spring is coming. Let's see if we get nomads. So, and then the uh, Spaniards came in. They actually built a mission right there in this area. And quite, now that I think about it, both Santa Barbara and Solvang both have missions. And what we did was instead of going in the chronological order and then building the downtown area, I jumped right into downtown with all these visions of getting downtown opened that I totally forgot all the basic survival needs in this game. So... 1911 is when they uh, purchased 9,000 acres of land. And that is the history of Solvang. And it is what it is today. So, anyway, I guess another thing, I, I if I really wanted to have some fun with it, I guess I could have called the town Kringle. Because we're pretty fond of the Kringles that they sell there. And that's one of our every time purchase when we go through and i was going to focus on a lot of apples for the apple strudel um the the butchers were going to make the sausages and there is actually an ostrich farm just outside of solvang oh, wow we're in summer already and no nomads you know what i'm going to give this one more year where are we? We're in 13, and we're running 10 speed. I'm going to give this one more year for nomads to show up, and if they do not show up, then I think we're going to start over with a new map. I mean, we're going to use the same map because I am not going to allow myself to be defeated, but we are going to go ahead and start in that chronological order that we spoke of. And quite frankly, looking at it, I think this might actually be our starting location. For some reason, our hunters over here just don't seem to produce enough protein to sustain our population. And then I looked up here and I just saw this whole herd of probably wild boar. Yeah. Come in. Are they going to cross the river or creek? So this might be a more plentiful hunting area. And besides, we've already got the storage cart here. So I may start with a native build over here. And then... Actually, the native build is going to take quite a build. And I was going to do the mission up here, but we may do the town of Solvang over here. I'm trying to picture where that mission is located. I think it's more above it, but we don't have any building room above. Definitely also been there getting ahead of myself in excitement. All right. Yeah, you know, it's... um. <laughs> We, um, this was, was my demise from the beginning. I mean, you could have looked at what I was doing here and just shook your head. No. So today I got my lucky beanie on. Hopefully that's going to help out. I've got my, uh, I got my fishing sweater on, you know, hopefully that's going to bring me some luck and, uh, I am going to play this out as long as I can. Plum cake. Well, go figure. We could have used that. <laughs> but, unfortunately, too late for that. So, we are in winter again with no nomads. So, we're going to let this winter pass. We're going to go through the entire spring and summer of next year and once the snow hits if there is no more if no nomads show up we're going to scrub it 
and start over from from scratch. And that is the plan. It's kind of weird, though, to have a cart where the Native Americans are, though. We're going to have to kind of toy with that idea. But I'm definitely going to go with a, um, a hunter-gatherer start. And uh, we'll see. I don't, you know what? We might as well explore it already. Can we pull Hunter Gatherer out of the native set? There's native items. Dude, that's teepees, wigwams, longhouses, totem poles. Question mark. <laughs> oh, a canoe. Okay. And what are these? Production buildings. Do, 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 do. Maybe a fishing tree, a hunting cabin. No, that's. I'd like to go a little bit more native flavor than that. What do we got here? There is nothing productive here. Native monument and a ceremonial ground. Well, that kind of sucks because I really, you know what we could do? We could go with the plots, the farmyards, especially with three sisters. I mean, this one right here has to be a mandatory drop for a native village. Maybe nomads only come when there's other people already in town. Saskia in the last episode said that She's played this game many times and nomads will arrive with a zero population. Now, given how little forest there is, farmyards are a good idea. Yeah, you know what? Um, I think we're, we may go with that. And once again, although we, we, I mean, we've been given a cart we may as well use it. And. But we may quickly also get rid of it in favor of something more native themed. This is a native home for five, five. Longhouse storage. Oh my gosh. A comp. It only holds. 4,000. And it's huge. <laughs> it's huge and it hold, only holds 4,000. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, there's Farmer's Back, Jane Doe. I know it can be done with the mods, but I'm unsure if it's in the Mega. Well, you know what? I think once our snow hits again, and if no nomads arrive, we're just going to start over again. I am on spring break right now, so I do have nothing but time. And cucumber seeds. <laughs> As if we needed a salad bar. No, so anyway. You know... With all the chatting that I've been doing, or let me rephrase that, with all the rambling or grumping that I've been doing in, since the beginning of this episode, it's not going to break my heart if we actually turn this into a three-hour stream. And then I'll, after this, I'll go ahead and I'll do Fallout Shelter, and then I'm going to end the day with Banished. And we'll see how far that takes us into the day. I had a major, major, major upload yesterday of five videos onto YouTube because I had a pre-recorded version of Banished, which was episode one of this. And I had a pre-recorded Fallout Shelter. And what I did was I uploaded those two first, and then I did my daily recording of Banished Fallout Shelter, and I started a new Baldur's Gate. 
so we'll just continue with banished fallout shelter Baldur's Gate for this for today okay late autumn we're getting close 40 degrees 39 38 37 five more 36 four more 35 three more four three two two and let the snow begin there she is okay nomads are not gonna happen let's go ahead and uh, get this thing underway let's go ahead and load and fortunately i actually have saved this game from the beginning which i think was right here so are you sure yeah we want to get rid of that that was not a happy start for us so here we go fresh start i'm going to listen to what everybody has told me in the comments um saskia also recommended using things out of the biddy menu so that might also be a possibility i think what my problem is is i try to limit myself to themes okay pause oh no you know what doggone it let's take up uh the challenge here we go five speed one two and first thing we're going to do before we even do anything else is I am going to collect some wild foods and we have none to collect. So the next thing we're going to do then is collect some resources. So let's clear that out. We need to get some stonage and let's build us a stockpile. So stockpile, stockpile stockpile oh you guys are gonna really watch me get some grump on in this episode i do not like to run without pause so this is gonna freak me out let's go ah nuts oh there we go let's go two by two by five two by five's happy i guess boom okay now let's get a node going sooner okay what do we got here i would love if there was proper Viking mod with longhouses, you know what? That there you go. Maybe the devs are watching by some chance. That would really be a, a nice compliment. Let's get some housing for these people, um, because my suggest. Oops, that's not it. My suggestion for them was to um, how many? How many? Family of four? Family of four. I don't know what the difference is, but let's get something built here. So let's go one, one, two, three, four. Okay, we'll put it right there. And four, one, two, three, four. There. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's do that. Let's go there. One, one, two, three, four, there. One, two, three, four, there. That's going to get them some housing. Oh, I suggested a, um, I suggested a build. God, man, we still don't have food. Okay, farm plots. Let's go to them. Where, where is my, um, doggone it. The, the scary thing about doing this, and I said I was going to start with three sisters. So that is where we're going to start. Let's go ahead and do a flippy thing with that flip flip. And I'm actually going to drop that right behind here. Boom. And then that's, hopefully that's going to get us some food coming in. Let's go ahead and turn, get our our windows up one two and we need a professions and we use this one now you first you're in the corner no one puts baby in a corner you're gonna go over here you are gonna go right here and what do we got going on we need builders 
One, two, three, four builders. That's good for now. Hopefully that's going to get something going. Uh, if they're just standing around, that's the wrong thing to do. Can we get... Why is there no wild food out here? That is crazy. Okay. Well, what's going on with this? And why are they not building it? This priority on this. Come on, guys. Get this thing done. There we go. I see people on it. Oh, my stockpile is full. Holy nuts on a biscuit. Do, 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 do. I, I don't know if that's the reason, but another five by two. I like I oh well they're doing something so hopefully that that might have been the reason yeah maybe all the resources they needed to build it just weren't there so let's see one two right away and that's going to get that going now let's get some of these housings built so we can uh, bring some more babies into this world. Now, I was upset because I couldn't find the mini blacksmith. Mini, mini, mini. And that really, because the mini has always been my go-to. That's a single one. You know what? If I'm not mistaken, that single one actually puts out a lot of... Tools. Tiny. What's a tiny look like? Yeah, tiny is bigger than I want. No. No. Biddy. How biddy is the biddy? No, that's even bigger. No. 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 Don't know. No. 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 You know what? Where's that? This one. Let's come up here next to the cart. You know what? Maybe we should go next to the stock. Nope, next to the cart. Boom. And boom, right there. There's a blacksmith. And then I think on the other side over, you know what? How about right next to the blacksmith, we put a wood chopper. Why are they not building these? Leather. Oh my God, I need leather. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. Pause. Hunter. We need a hunter. Do, 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 do. Darn you, hombre, for giving me this challenge. You know what? A, there's a that's a tiny one. What's it look like? Do, do, do. Oh my god, it's huge. Yes. We will take huge. And you know what? I think we are gonna flip flip. And you know what? I think that might be it, right? Yeah, right there. Boom. Make it happen, Jackson. Are you gonna jump on me? No, you're going to sit right there. Perfect. Let's get this thing built so we can get some leather. Okay, there we go. Let's get two people into this. Boom. And then one, two. Once we get the leather, you know, I'm not even going to, going to, I can't hit pause because, <laughs> because of the challenge. Maybe get a farm which makes firewood too. That would be, yeah, I don't think the farm plots make firewood, do they? Let's find out. Um, and Saskia, right there, the first one. Saskia wants us to stay with the uh, five by fives, which, I, you know what? I'm not opposed to that. Oops, we got to flip, flip, flip. And come on down one more. Do, boom, there we go. Oh my God, we're over a thousand food. Awesome. Come on, Hunter. Find us something to eat. And you know what? I got to get my people doing something. Why don't we... What are we missing with the blacksmith and things? Where is it? I thought... There it is. The tool smith. Oh my God, we need iron. 
crumbs. That's not going to happen. Okay, make that go away. And let's... What? Come on, Hunter, get us some leather. We may just freeze to death here if we don't get something going fast. Is there a farm plot that makes that gives us leather? I wouldn't think so. But this gives us clothing and tools. You know what? Build it. Let's come right here. This might be a little too little too late. But I think we're I think we just chose the wrong buildings. Yeah, we're all going to freeze here. Doggone it. And there, I, there's nothing I can do with the housing. Where were the... How quickly can you guys build one of these? How quickly can you build that? Nope, there they go. There they go. Ah, nuts on a biscuit. Come on, guys. Oh, I need builders. Nope, that didn't work either. Okay. What's, I think one of the six by eights gives leather. Okay, well, you know what? Let's look at that before we start over again, because I am not going to allow myself to be defeated. One of the six by eights give leather. You can tell how often I use these. Six by eights. Here we go. Six by eight here. Oh my gosh. Right there. Corn and another leather. Wow. And a third leather. Holy nuts on a biscuit. So we should have jumped into the six by eights. Good to know. Good to know. Do, 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 do. Here we go. What's our time? 42, two hours. Set timer for two hours and 15 minutes. And 15 minutes starting now. Awesome. Here we go. Yes. Six by eights will get us. Will get us what we need. Five by fives, six by eights. And I, I do want to stick with the teepee theme going on. I will be dropping the three sisters in only because I have to stick with, with accurate tradition thing going on here. Now, before we hit play, because we got challenged, we don't need a hunter if we can do it with the six by eights. We can do teepees because we will get leather. And we need a stockpile and resources. Let's start with that. And I think we're going to maybe do the plots over here. Why don't we do the... Why don't we do the 6 by 8s over here? We'll do the 5 by 5s over here. And then we'll do some housing right up here let's go with that plan see what happens so let's get going I'm, my mind is just blank because i'm not used to this oh no <laughs> yeah there's a reaction your grump is not quite as serious as my grump <laughs> but maybe you're censoring yourself because of the kids at home but <laughs> Uh, I um, I've got some grump action going on right now. You know what? Let's um, let's get this stuff up 
because I don't think this should count for my um, for my non pause. So that's gonna go there. This is gonna ah. This is gonna go there. This is gonna go there. I'm gonna just start straight out with half of them as builders. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and dump, dump, five start. Here we go. Boom. They're running. Now, boom. Let's go ahead and first get a stockpile built. Boom, boom. And I think we're going to do a six by, I want to do a six by two. No, I want to do an eight by two. Boom. Okay. Now I'm going to, oh, we need to gather resources, don't we? All right, guys. Just, you know what? We need logs. Fill it up with logs. Let's grab a few stone and we'll see how far that gets us. Now let's get our first six by eight. Boom. Boom. And that was this one. No. no, six by six, go figure. Pork, leather, apples, and mushrooms. Oh my gosh, that is almost a Danish meal right there. What's this one? Corn, well, there's an, that's a native thing going on there. Oats and milk and leather, okay. And that's it, let's play with these three. So I'm going to go with the with the traditional. You know what? I'm going to go with the corn. The corn is more native. And then we can always... Ah, oh, nuts on a biscuit. I built that wrong. Flip, flip. We can always change it. Come on down to here. So you're my first one. Cha-ching right there. We're going to let them build that. Now let me get some housing. Nine adults is... Four, five, five houses. Let's go back to the teepees. Do, 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 do. Where's my native thing? Come on, old man, find it. There it is. Do, 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 do. I don't know what the difference is. A small tent, traditionally made, or a small tent, traditionally made. I don't know what the difference is. Cute. Ooh. Cute. There we go. Now, how many can we put in here? There. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Awesome. One, two, three. There we go. All right, that'll give them some housing. Now we need to address our tool issue. Oh, here we go. Um, you guys are probably screaming at me. Put people in there. Whoops, too many. There we go. Start making that happen. And then that's going to get us the leather we need for here. Let's get some of that iron ore in stock and start thinking about tools. Um, maybe some iron and stone and maybe more logs because I definitely don't want to run out of log. Oh my, oh, that's right. They're in my plot. It's going to say, let's get a hunter. And is my stockpile full? Almost. We may need another one. Okay, let's come over a little bit further. And if we need to build another stockpile, by golly, we will. Okay, let's, um, I don't expect this one to keep us going. So let's go ahead and grab the other two of those. So there's this, there's this, and that's going to leave us with this one, which is the most Danish. And this one has more leather in it. Does this one have leather? It does. Oh my gosh, we are going to seriously abuse the leather. Flip, flip, and I want to come right off of that. More leather. 
we'll let them build that one out. Keep an eye on its progress. Yeah, pork for bacon. Bacon is definitely the cornerstone of our native food pyramid. You know, we got a dish in um, in Solvang. It was, you know, it wasn't a pork roast, but it was thinly sliced pork that was grilled with like a plum. It had plums in it. And so it was kind of sweet and savory. Oh, here we go. Let's get a couple people in there. So cha-ching, there's two. One, two. Make that happen. I would really like to know what the progress on the teepees are. Oh my gosh, we're getting leather. Awesome. So I'm just going to trust that they can get those built. Uh, Steg flask, perhaps. You know what? I if They did not call it that. The only, the only two dishes that they called out in the traditional language was the... Um, the Master Pulse Sausage and the Frikadella. But I I knew all about the Frikadellas from the tradition that I was brought up in. But the sausage was something new. And we used to go to the Paula's Coffee Shop in Solvang for breakfast. And they would simply just call it Danish Sausage. And I almost think it was... It was either like a, a pork with some apple in it or something like that. But it was really nice to actually see it labeled as the traditional name. What are we doing? We, we're we going to need a blacksmith unless we drop a plot that makes tools. So you know what? Maybe we'll do that. Where's my tool plot? Right there. Tools and clothes. Let's go ahead and put this. What happened? My firewood is low. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this someplace. Don't know where. How about... Hmm. Flip, flip. Where's my flippy thing? Flip, flip. We'll do the fives up here. So let's go up, 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 up. And then I want a road. And then let's go... One, two, three, road. Try that. Because I want to get another teepee facing in the opposite direction. As a matter of fact, have they started these yet? Yes, they have. So, you know what? Let's pause. I put a pause on you. And I'm going to put a pause on... No, you know, I'm going to let them build that one. But I do want to get one going in the opposite direction just to see if I lined up that plot correctly. There's that. Gosh, I can't find anything. You're obviously seeing my grump come out here. So flip, flip. Let's come over here. We're going to space one right there. And then that should hit it. Perfect. Boom. Boom. Oh, it's built already. Yes, we could put two people in there. One, two. Awesome. We're having fun now. What's going on? It looks to me like you could use a tree shack. Oh, okay. The dense tree shack pretty soon. Yeah. Oh, you know what? That brings me to another thing. It, is that the one? I can't hit pause. Is that the one that has the, um, one of these has firewood. There it is right there. So you know what? Do, let's put it down. Okay, flip, flip. I mean, we're getting all of our basic essentials down first. One, two, three, right there. And we'll keep an eye on this one so we'll know when to stick people in. Native town. Oh, my God. They're moving in. Score. 
Yes, thank you. 11 adults. Okay, two, four, six, five, five. I need six tenths. We can do six tenths. We can do six tenths. Do, 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 do. Where's my, my native thing? Oh my gosh. Flip, flip. And let's put you right, oh, right there. Cha-ching. I mean, what a, this is this is a cute little build we got going here. There we go. Do we have labor force? Not yet. We do now. So here we go. Two people in there. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Now, is this going to hold everything? No. We may want to entertain more storage. Well, by golly, sticking true to the native form, I should pro hooray! Everyone has a tent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just just about. Actually, I'm gonna need six because it's two adults per tent, and we have to round up to twelve. So, yeah, let's go ahead and grab. Another ten. Where's my themes? Boom. Where's my Indian? There it is. There it is. And you are gonna go right there. Okay. We're getting cold, so let's go ahead and see what we can do. Now, one of them is supposed to make firewood, and this doesn't tell me anything. So maybe we do need a wood chopper. And you know what? You mentioned the dense tree shack. Because we are going to need logs. Let's get a chopper chopper thing going first because we are going to... Is that it? There, there it is. Where's that? I'm going to just use the itty bitty. This No, the mini woodcutter? What do you look like? Okay. I'll bite. And I'm going to put you next to our cart. You know what? No, I lied. Let's put you next to a stockpile. So you're going to go over and you're going to go right there. Oh my gosh, everybody's cold. We need to get this thing up and running ASAP. Come on, guys. Oh, no, not you. This. Come on, guys, get in there. Oh, there we go. Where's my thing? Get in. Get in there and make me wood. No. Oh. Come on. Who, where's my chopper? There we go. Can you save us from freezing? Can you save us from freezing? I sure hope so. This is probably the most unnecessary thing I'm doing so far. You know what? I probably should have extended it over. Let's include the chopper in there so they don't feel so left out. Oh my God, and we have a warm house. Good, because they will go in there to get warm. For those of you that are just standing around, let's get some more resources. Can we... Oh, we don't need foods. That's good. But I want to start... How's our... Oh, my God. We got tools and clothing. Oh, my God. Saskia! Hey, hey. Oh, there we go. We got the whole family here now. So, hooray. Everyone has a tent. Hey, hey. Uh, you get a tent and you get it. Oh, hey, Oprah. There you go. And finally, how can I send you a screenshot of my start? I, um, well, I do have Discord that you can send it over there. And I will try to find out another way to do that. I no longer have a Facebook account because my uh, Facebook account got hacked. And so my faith in Mark Zuckerberg has just gone down. I don't want to go through that again. 
you can try to upload it onto Discord at Grumpy Gnome Gaming. And I did see that you were already part of my channel. So that should probably be the best way to do it. Another place you can find me is on LinkedIn. Okay, here we go. When I tried to get on your Discord, it wouldn't let me. Really? Oh my gosh. I'll have to learn that Discord thing. I will look into that. I'll look into that hopefully sometime today. And you know what? Um, maybe I need to get on Facebook again. Maybe I should look at Instagram or something. But we'll figure it out. Uh, right now, I'm digressing off of this game that should probably keep my attention. And are, is this over full? This is full. We do need more storage. So let's go ahead and stick with the um, native theme. Now I gotta look into Discord. That that's making me grumpy. Okay, what are you? You're a wigwam house. Okay, larger family, larger family, storage. Very little storage that uses a ton of resources. Oh my god. But you know what? We'll do it. Flip flip. Oh, you know what? Does it line up with these? Not quite. Not quite, but close enough. You know what? We may just do that. Let's come over here. Come over here. Come over here. You know what? No, I'm just going to put, I'm going to put it on the road just because we can. And then we'll figure out something too wide that can go in down there. And let's keep an eye on this. The woodcutter, we don't need anymore. Let's move you over to there. And let's extend our road, which is totally unnecessary, to right there. And actually, just because we like to make it pretty, they had a secondary road in here also. I guess like that. Okay. Uh, that's a monster storage with little... You know what? You are right. It is. And it really makes me grumpy to have to use it. But I'm trying to keep to the theme. And that just used up all of our logs. Holy nuts. Tell me I'm doing the right thing here. Logs. Okay, let's get a dense tree shack put in. Or let's find a plot that makes logs. That might be more realistic than having the natives build a shack someplace. So let's go back to our plots. And is there one that produces logs? You're firewood. You are firewood. I don't even know which one we use now. You are not logs. You are not logs. You are not logs. And you are the three sisters. So let's go to a six by eight. Logs, no. Logs, no. Logs, no. Okay, different sizes. Seven by eight, no. 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 Wool. Seven by eight. That's it. Okay, next size. Seven by six. Oh, we missed the four by eight. Turkeys! Oh, there's your Thanksgiving one. And there's even Brussels sprouts for Grace. But I don't think Grace watches my channel. Do -do -do -do. Honey, corn, beans. No. Six by sixes? There's Doug's duck meat. No. 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 Okay. We're going to have to do the shack thing. Okay. Let's uh, let's find out where we're going to put this. I don't want to go too far away. I'm almost thinking right here to keep it, keep it close to our village. 
So let's go into the mining thing. Let's pull this one up. Let's pull up the dense tree shack. Our first non-native thing that we're putting in. Where's my door? Actually, that is the right, that's the right facing. Click, click, there's the door. Click, click. Make it happen, Jackson. Let's get as much real estate here as possible. I'm on the barn. Let's see which direction we're going to jump. And we're jumping into the into the river. Okay. Come here, take it out. Boom. Let's go ahead and grab that again. Same facing. And this time move over one there it is okay let them build that do, 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 do. and we're probably going to need some type of building down there so i think we're going to go with man something's telling me go tiny shack oh Hey, Marlene, I, I didn't even see that you left, but I'm, I'm glad you're back. I think the docks also have a log gathering. They do, but believe me, they do not produce anything. One thing that the Indians, gosh, I still, I don't know. Is it, is it politically incorrect to refer to Native Americans as Indians? And... I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just, I so do not want to offend people that sometimes it, I really drive myself nuts. I think right up here, this is going to be a good bend for something that's going to produce fish. And... Does the native, I just want to check my resources here. We need to get this thing up just to get logs. In the meantime, I am going to pull the logs out of here. We got those. We got these. Any more up here? Are you a log? I don't know what, I don't know what the heck that is. Okay. Got one down here, and we got a little batch down here that we can clear. Stone, we're still doing well. The carts you used for your Easter start, there's a wood cart. You know what? You are correct. And that wood cart is going to fit real nicely right in this row right here. Jane, I am so glad you have come to join us. Do, 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 carts. Where were they? They were under this thing, I think, and they were like over here, and they were like in something specialty. And uh, here we go. Fruits and veggies, peddler. No. Hunter, no. Although we could have done that. The mining one, there's going to get us our iron logs and branches. I think that's our winner. And a trader house for four? Okay, let's let's do this one. Come up here, let's zoom in a little because sometimes people actually like close-ups. There's that opening, so I think we're gonna open you right to there. And cha-ching, make that happen. Yes, it worked. I used the bitty wood. Biddy Wood, okay, let me go back to see where we're, what we were talking about here. Hey, hey, how can I screenshot my start? It used, okay, I'm, I'm missing something. I will try. It worked. Is that, is the it worked in reference to the sending the screenshot to Discord? And the, oh, I am going to think that that's what you were, were talking about. I'm going to throw one person in here. Not yet. Yes, on Discord. There we go. And the Biddy Wood 
was probably to get... Oh, we need to get somebody in here. Cha-ching. Okay, this is good. We have everything. We have logs. We have firewood. We have food. We're not a nudist colony. And we have tools. Holy nuts. We have done it. <laughs> so, I give to you the town of Solvang. <laughs> not. Um, I don't know what the natives called this. Um, I know I mentioned this before that it was the Shumash tribe. And this is not even the perspective that we're going to go with. I just use this as my start. And now that I stop and think about it, I probably should have perspectived the map before doing this. Um, except herbs. Okay. I am going to try to be a new regular. Oh, you know what, Jane? Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And oh my gosh, we have limits. So let's go ahead and pull all limits right now. I love the interactive nature of having people like Saskia and Marlene along on these um, adventures. And I really try to go with their input more than my own because... It's really, the episode really belongs to them, not to me. Okay, that limit has been reached. I'm just the grumpy old man that puts everything together. I put their ideas together and put it on screen. And then I upload it for the world to see. You know what? We need houses, don't we? Okay, open this one up. And I'm actually going to build another one right behind that. So let's go to themes. Let's go to this one. Let's go to this one. Let's Hey, it is flippy already. So here we go. Doom, doom, doom. Right there. Cha-ching. So how do we got 17? So we actually, it's 18 people. So nine houses is what we need. Well, by golly, Miss Molly, maybe do we're going to go two more right here. Kind of fill in the village a little bit. I would like to get something else going over here. What else? There's another native tent. Awesome. And this is a young couple. So we're going to we're gonna get some babies out of them. That's good. I'm almost thinking this is not going to last us long. Maybe put another storage over here on this side. Do, 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 do. If we do a two here, that's not going to work. Where does that road come up? Do I have builders? I do have builders. Good. Let's get some road action going in. I'm going to frame everything because we just like to frame things. There's that. Come through there. That's going to pick up that iron. Come through here. Come down here. Let's come up and around this. Boom. Come back around down to here. Boom. Come through. That's going to pick up that iron. And come down the side here. I don't know why, but how about we put this road in right here? Okay. Ah, nuts on a biscuit. Shouldn't have done that one. I can't hit pause. Holy crumbs. Boom. Okay. That is going to drive me nuts. Cannot hit pause. Okay. And come across. Uh-oh. Okay, well, come across to there. Come up to there. 
And now let's frame these in. Ah. Okay, and we got a road going down the middle. And that's it, that right there. Okay, like, wow, that's a small insert for that. What about you? What do you got? One, two, three, right there. Is that all you've got, too? Holy crumbs. All right. Let's see. Maybe a town arrival behind the wood cart. We can do that. We'll give them their own little boat. Oh, we were going to do fishing up here. Okay, town arrival. Where are you? You are. Let's go here and just pull the basic generic one. Town services, town here, and look for something small, small, small. Are you town arrival? No. You are. Yes. Boom. And you know, another thing we can also do is for the nomads. Where's my lamp post? How, what direction is it in? There it is. Okay, we'll go doom, doom, doom. There, put the boat right there. Boom. We got a town arrival. And... Before I have another old man moment, let's go ahead and, oh, it would be nice to just run this road up, but I don't think that's going to maximize the fishing dock. You know what? I think we need more storage. That just mm, ain't going to cut it. Well, against my better judgment, I'm going to stick with the native theme. And flip, flip. Mm, no. I don't know why it won't go in right there. What is in the center that is preventing this from going in? <sighs> Something's going on there. Okay, let's um, this side over here, flip, flip, right here. Where's my main road? Main road's up there. That just leaves too much wide open space. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to go right next to this one. There, that's going to be storage central right there. And we'll let them put that in. Let's get let's look at this fishing dock thing. Maybe the Celtic storage would fit. You know what? Let's let's check it out. And that was I don't know where the Celtic is. I know where the houses are. There's the Celtic, but I think these are all houses. So if I was gonna look for something, I would go into the generic storage. I would go into storage barns. Well, let's start from the beginning here. Anything here say Celtic. Celt normal barn, medium barn, village, small, Atlas, whatever that is, Pine, Port Royal, no, no. No. Well, maybe. How much does this hold? 1,200? We're going in the wrong direction. 5,000. What's it look like? Mm, too modern. What do you look like? You're 1,200. I can't even pronounce you. Inshore. Village barn. Narrow store. No, I know it's not the narrow storage ones. Tudor. No. Viking stock, 12,000. <laughs> hey, Marlene. That was awesome. Look at this. It might just work. Blip, blip. And can we come right up? Ooh, that doesn't quite fit nicely right there.
Uh, the one in the settler set is 9,000, but you also prefer the Viking. Awesome. You know what? Oh, nuts on a biscuit. Well, we can do one here. And if we needed to, we can actually put one right here. And then we can start expanding a little bit down here and maybe start bringing this into the uh, into the picture. So why don't we do that? Let's see, does this have a, if this has a centerpiece on it, it does have a center. Another option is flip, 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 and we'll just put the center road right there. I think that's actually it right there. Why don't we go with that? Oof. There, we just did that. You know what I didn't look for, though? And this is going to be the, the anal in me. I'm going to hold off on that until I can see the green. Because I want to see if it's got different roofs. And in the meantime, let's get rid of this one. That <laughs> one piece of leather. And let's look at our housing check. We're still at 17. So we actually do need one more house. And what I'm starting to think of is maybe start facing some houses down in this direction. And why don't we maybe do that? So. Or do we go keep going across? I really don't like the way this does not line up. So I'm almost wanting to build it until we can get a perfect lineup here. So why don't we try to continue a little bit more over by dropping in. Now we need one more house. Well, we needed one before, but now we really need one because we want to get this new couple. Where's my native things? Having babies. So this one is going to face in this direction. Boom. And that's going to go right there. Totally unnecessary, but I got to do it. And you know what? Maybe look for one more plot to fill this in. And these were seven by eight, I think. So maybe grab that last seven by eight plot that was there. This one. Oh, that really doesn't have anything that we want. Oh, you know, corns and beans. How many seven by eights are there? One, two, three, three. And so far we've got the two that make leather. We don't have this one. Farm, we, we, One, two, three, three. Which ones do we have? Fourteen. That doesn't tell me anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Are we doing six by eights? I'm thinking we might be doing six by eights. Corn, leather, milk, and beef. Corn, milk, leather, and beef. Yep, those are six by eights. Okay, and where are we here? Um, do, 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 do. Okay, I got to see this. The Viking stock vault, the one in the settlers is 9,000. Prefer Viking. My town had a visit of Vikings. Awesome. Uh, yeah, uh, we we're pretty busy. Hope it wasn't a raid. <laughs> that that seems to be what everybody associates with the Vikings. Um, oh, we learned a lot. 
I think a more important question would be, hopefully the raid wasn't done in current times. And um, what's in the past is in the past, because I'll tell you what, over here in the in the States, we did a lot of things that we probably shouldn't have. And the funny thing is, we do not learn from our history. We'll just repeat it and repeat it and repeat it. Make the same mistakes over and over again. It's getting dark in here. Okay, let's... Um, anyway, that's my political rant for the day. What am I doing? Why are they not building this? Oh, I wanted to see if there were different... Oh my gosh, and I can't hit pause. I wanted to see if there were different facets to this okay grass roof with bricks more grass roof with bricks well they're not brick I think those are the only two and so I really don't mind whichever one this is let's just get it done a hundred and forty four build holy nuts this thing sucks up resources why are you standing around, dude? Make yourself useful. Here, be a builder. Let's um, also think about getting this tree shack up and running down here. And, uh, you know what? As long as we're doing Celtic, you know what? I think maybe a shack over here. Is, a shack would really fit in with this. So let's do that. Um, let's. I think my shacks are right here. There she is. Just a walking down the street. And I know this is totally very unnative-like also. And where do I want to go? Probably up on the street. Boom. 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 And then one more. That doesn't match, does it? Boom. That looks better. Even if it doesn't line up, it still looks better. So make that happen. I probably should have flipped it and got a new perspective. Oh my God, we got a baby boom. No, we got a laborer boom. Holy crumbs, that means new houses. Will you take the stone out of the tree shack? Yeah, we could. You know, I'm usually never in such a hurry that I need to take everything out of there because I normally just let them take stuff out at their leisure. But we can do that. So let's go ahead and get... Uh-oh. Did I put my shack right next to there? Delete. And now I can actually get my... Oh, nuts on a biscuit! No, cancel this one. Okay, let's... Um, I'm going to do the flippy thing here. do 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 I just want to get a better perspective on what a shack next to that is going to look like. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And there's my shack. There's that. Maybe there. There. Over one more. Boom. And I guess make it happen. Okay, and now can we build a road? Oh, wait, you know what? Let me grab that so I can keep my perspective up. Because I only want to take the road up to where it meets that. And then we're going to go one here. We're going to go one here. And... This is four wide. There's that. And let's go ahead and get a stockpile put into there. So stockpile, stockpile. I only want logs in my stockpile. So that's going to go right to thar. And that'll keep us busy for now. 
Okay, what am I missing here? Yeah, we're pretty busy. Hope it wasn't a raid. We learned a lot. Oh my God, just tried to move your screen with my mouse. <laughs> Old moment there. Okay. Uh, will you take the stone out of the tree shack? Okay, we're back to that. Yeah, let's... I'll take it out because I think that's going to make you guys happy. And we may as well put another little stockpile in there. So where's my roadage? Do, 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 do. I'm going to give this... My little shack here at two frontage. And let's go ahead and put another little stockpile, even if we don't keep it right over here. And we'll get the stone out of there. So let's go for let's go for a three by three. Boom. And remove, I'm just going to remove everything what's in there. So there's that. We'll take the remove everything button and we'll start here and just grab all of that. We'll come down here and grab all of that. We'll come down here. Oh my God, look at that. We got a job. <laughs> he likes us. He really, really likes us. And you know what? I think that might be everything. Oh my God, I got all these other resources. I don't know what they are, but you know what? Get them. They might be food. And you know one thing, keeping with the native tradition, we, uh, you know what I think I'm pulling out here are the new trees that are, no, I never put somebody in, so we're not planting trees. A beaver dam behind the tree shack. We can do that. We can do that. So here we go. Let's, let's zoom in first and come on over and let's grab a beaver dam. Do, 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 which is right here, here, right here, here, right here. And we're going to take our road across. Don't drop on, don't drop on me. Don't drop on me. Right there. Or, right, I think that's it. That looks happy. Boof. Beaver Dam, baby. And uh, fodder, thatch, and flowers. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that is what we're making. God, I hate that fodder, thatch stuff. Okay. We got us a beaver dam. This is... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Boom. So, and we were going to do the fisher person. We keep getting away from that. You know what? I think this is the perspective I wanted because Lake Kachuma is up here and that's kind of where it should be. So right now we are running with the perspective that we want. Okay, let's let's go ahead. I need two more houses. Okay, we can do that. Oh, wait, if we get this one built down here, logs. I need logs. Well, doggone it. I'm going to hate doing this. But let's put somebody into here. Where's my shack thing? Let's get two people into there. Oh my god, I could put more than two. There. And you know what? I don't want a log limit. Uh, 99999 or one less than a million. That's only to speed up the logs. And you know what? Now that I come to think of it, we never did you're getting logs for us aren't you yes you are i don't know where the logs are going that's interesting i don't know where the logs are going firewood no well you're out of logs you know what i'm gonna put you on hold for now boom Maybe just pull you out of there. Boom. There we go. Now, about that fisher person that we never put in. We can go up to this point here. We can come to this point here. This might be a good point right here. Bundling shed. 
okay, we could do the, the bundling shed instead of the firewood. What does our inventory look like? Are we absolutely filling up? You know what? I can actually go over that. Are we actually filling up with the wrong things by quantity? Beef is number one. Well, maybe it's time for a butcher. Corn is number two. Maybe it's time for a mill. And apple strudels. Pears, milk. Milk is dairy. Oats here if we wanted to do animal pens. That probably wouldn't break our heart to do animal pens. Thatch, 300. I wish there was another use for thatch. I know that there is. I think it is with the... Um, to make like a compost or something for greenhouses. And where's the flowers? Flowers are only 35, so that's not bad. Cactus fruit. Interesting. Not used to seeing that. Okay, so is it time for a butcher? And if so, you know what? I wonder, maybe get into those little butcher people things. Let's take a look at those. I'm going to minimize that. Oh, we never did build our other houses. This is getting built and we need one more teepee. So we're, come on, think, think, boom, boom, boom. Drop one more teepee right here, cha-ching. And I think that might be it for this community right here maybe start branching out a little these are the six by eights how many six by eight slots did we have do 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 let's see one two three there's three of them so we're using this one we're using this one we're not using this one You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and put it in. Whoa, why does it not fit nicely? Oh, oh, that's even worse. That's a six by six. Okay, go away. Oh, and there is our Solvang themed one. Corn. I guess now I'm befuddled. Oh my gosh, which ones are we using? Okay, there's 15, there's 14, there's 13. We got, we're using 14 and 15. So let's grab 13. Do, 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 do. Right there. I think that's it. Yep, right there. Make it happen. Awesome. Okay, let's frame this one in. And where are your inserts? Right there. Okay, that worked out well. Okay, let's see what's going on here. You can use the thatch in your bundling shed too. Okay. I don't know if I've read that already. Beaver Dam thatch flowers you can build the other stables and make fertilizer with the thatch and water Ooh, i yeah that's i don't use that other stable but it wouldn't be a bad idea to bring a stable into the picture oh my god i kind of put that in a neat place because we could just connect like that that was unintentional but I will take credit for it. You're the woodcutter. Let's get two people into here. One, two. 
Let's upgrade you so you're a bigger house. And it is time for one more house. So maybe we'll start a second community down going this direction. So let me go ahead and grab my teepees again, because doggone it, we're, I guess this, the theme today is going to be native themed. And then we will evolve into the, um, okay. We will evolve into the Spanish theme uh, a little bit later. Is that it right there? No. Yeah, that's it. Boom. You're going in. I may scrap this in favor for another one of these. And you know what? Maybe we'll put that one right here. Maybe we'll leave this just for flavor. Probably should have turned it the other direction, though. Okay, you're doing so great. Maybe it's time for a school. I don't know, man. I, I'm almost enjoying my uneducated people. But now that you mentioned school, let's look into some different plots. And give me credit. I have not hit pause yet. And we also need a trader. Ceremonial. We'll get to that. A native monument. I, I, we don't need to build. I am not the decorating person. What am I looking for? Schools. Which which theme set should we use for schools? I'm going to let you guys chime in on that one. Because this one doesn't have schools. There is a native theme that does have schools. I used it. Native if the set has one. There is one. Do, 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 barn. I don't know which one it was. Forts and Palisades. Doggone it. Modular. Rose. Right here. This one. Native Village. Here we go. Oh my gosh, maybe this is what we should have started with. But you know what? I'm happy we got what we got. What we got. Sweat Lodge is for spiritual happiness. Then we got the wise elders. This is our school. So we'll take the school. I knew there was one. Will you fit there? No, you won't. Will you fit here? Yes, you will. Doggone it. We're on a roll. Flip, flip. And I think we're going to go right there with you. So cha-ching, make it happen. Boom. And we got us a school. How many kids? Oh, there's 12. 12 is a nice even number, too. So let's get them edumacated. And believe me, they probably don't want me as a teacher. Because I'm grumpy. No, my kids love me. Anyway, here we go. We got us a school and a escuela. That's for hombre. Let's see what else we got here. Let's go back to that native set and see what else we can add to this. Cha-ching. We got TP1, TP2, longhouse. Nope. Now look at this. This storage is 18,000. Tobacco. Okay, we're going to go that route. What's this one? The Chiefs. Okay, so the Chiefs Hut. This is the, um, the town hall. If we choose to use it. Now, does this have a tobacco theme to it? Do, 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 do. Hunting ground, a gatherer. Should we use, maybe go with this fisherman instead of the OP one? I don't know, man. Should we use this one? Or should we use the, the OP fisher person out of the other one? A fire tent, needlework, okay. 
and a tool. So this is our Smitty and our Taylor. This is the tobacco that you asked for. And because you asked for it, we shall put it in. And I'm thinking... Did it, did I wish I can see how big this thing was. Well, where's my road? Do, do. There's the road, so there is the edge. No, it doesn't fit nicely back there. It doesn't fit nicely there. It might go next to this one, so let's... um. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's come up, flip it around. Can we build you off to the side of this? Let's see, there's that. How many is it, four? One, two, three, four. That would go there, five. You know what, it would go nicely right there. So how about we do one and then one, two, three, four, and then five-ish. Ah, nuts on a biscuit. Why don't we just do this? Click right there. Boom. <coughs> okay, two tobaccos. Do, 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 do. And I guess we can get some tobacco action going. Get um, two people into there. One, two. Whatever that limit is, let's um, lift it. And we may want to get a trading post put in. Then you also need a fire tent. Buy a tent, baby. Fire tent, baby. Gatherer. Hunter. Medicine. Burial. Sweat. Nope. 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 I missed it. Deco. Nope. Tools. No. Needle. No. Fire tent. Perfect. How big are you? You? Oh my gosh, look at that. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Right there, baby. Boom. Oh, I love it when things come together. And just because we have to Bob Ross this thing, we will frame it. Boom. Come on down to here. Yeah, come around that thing. Boom. Connect you to there, boom. Bring you up and around here, boom. Bring you around here, boom. Through the middle, boom. And you had inserts. Right there. And you had inserts. Right there. And do you have any inserts? Yes. Two, three. Okay. Let's get somebody in here. Only one person. Good enough. And now I think we should probably also entertain trade because we may be able to start trading tobacco. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Yes or no for the bundling shed. Well, let me put it this way. Bundling shed or should we convert it into stable food? And then that might determine where we go there. Oh, our school is built. Why don't we have a teacher? We do. Boom. Boom. Awesome. Teacher, leave them kids alone. Do, 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 do. Okay. Wow, you are producing, but you sure don't have anything in your stockpile. Okay, maybe bundling shed and still keep the fire producers. Okay, we can do that. Let's find out where we're going to put the bundling shed. Bundle shed, baby. Do, 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 do. You are not a bundling shed. You are not a bundling shed, and you are not a bundling shed. Boom. But you are a bundling shed. 
Stacks burner. Cold count. Stack. Okay, here we go. Where will you fit nicely? Flip. Well, let's try. Nope. And let's try flip. And will you go into one of these? Well, by golly, Miss Molly, it is that size. No, it's not. Nope. Won't fit there either. Okay, flip, flip. Here. There we go. We found the size. And if we were to put you up here. Okay. That goes there. Nope. 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 Maybe. I don't know. Not there, because that's going to be teepees. So we either come down to here. That'll fit. Why don't we do that? Flip, flip. Maybe put you right here. No. Still not right. Doggone it. Doggone it. I don't think I would be a good salesperson for this game. Only just <laughs> because my OCD gets the best of me. Why don't we do this? Flip, flip, flip. I'm going to stick you right in this corner. And then that way we could leave whatever's in front of the school open for something else. And now my only conundrum is, am I facing in the right direction with this? I'm not going to worry about it. Here we go. Maybe bundling shed. If you're going to use greenhouse uh, down the road, stable it. You know what? Why not do both? I think that's where the direction we're kind of going into. So let me see if I can find the stable things. Is it here? No. Is it here? Yes. What are you are the one I normally use for oats. You are. Oh, that is so different. Are you the one? Oh, my God. There's a lot of writing here. Okay, stabilizer, best fertilizer, producer, blah, 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 fodder thatch, blah, blah. Well, you know what? I've seen enough already. Fodder thatch, and I saw water tower. Oh, that is very modern looking. Hmm. Is that going to throw off our mojo? Hmm. May I'm wondering. See, we could have stacked those two like that. Right there. In which case, I would have put the stable down here and the bundling shed up here. Oh, but you know what? This is not a a solid thing to go by. Shoot. Okay. Maybe we can take the stable a little further outside, like right to there. Let's put it out there and see what we can do with it. God, I hope I didn't go too far back. Do, do, do. Nope, that's good. Okay, so the stable's going to go in right there. Like that. And we got our bundling shed. Let's throw somebody into... Oh, well, we could put two people in there. Okay, how about one, two? And no, I don't want you to use corn. We want fodder thatch. And you're going to make fire bundles. Look at this line right here. It's like a shooting gallery. 
Pating, 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 pating. Anyway, we don't have a hunter. Okay, what comes next? Wait with the stable until you build Sylvain. Well, you know what? It's okay. We'll wait. <laughs> it's down. Okay, good one, Marlene. All right. We're a needle tent. So, okay, so now we're going to go with the clothing and the, the tailor. So let's put a pause on you and let's grab the needle worker and the tool maker. How big are they? You are, are you too wide? You're three wide. So you're not going to fit in my little alley right here. But you will possibly go in down here. So I'm thinking maybe put the tool dude across the street from the, from the bundling shed. And then we can put needlework next to the school. Nope. Do, 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 do. Let's start off with Toolmaker. See how he fits across from the bundling shed. If he does. So if I'm going to flip you like this. No, you won't even fit nicely there because you're butting up against the road. You can always fill the extra space with fuel stockpiles. Yeah, that's going to drive me nuts on a biscuit. Let's see here, there, and then one, two, three, four. Well, by golly, Miss Molly, we can go toolmaker and then put the needleworker right next to it. One, two, three, four. Nope. Let, why don't we do that? We'll put the toolmaker on the outside over here, like this. Boom. And then we'll grab the needleworker. And we'll do the flippy thing, flip, flip, and put you right there. And we'll frame that. Uh-oh, that doesn't look right. Uh-oh, whoops. Oh, dog. No, I didn't hit pause. I did not hit pause. Truth be told, I did. Eh, remove that. Oh, gone it. Dog, gone it. Do not use pause. Why will that not go in? Crumbs on a biscuit. And you know what? I can't see anything up there. Clear it. Yeah, something didn't go in nicely up here. Are these two different sizes? Because that would really screw things up if they were. Let's go back to this and actually count. This one is one, two, three, four, five deep. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six deep. Oops. Yeah, we, we screwed the pooch on that one. Doggone it. You know what? Don't worry about it. Now that I think about it, <laughs> shoot. These are, this is three right here. So I could have put one right here and I could have put one right here. But we wanted to use this for teepees. On that note, let's do a housing check. We need three houses. 
Okay, we can do that. Let's go back to our traditionals. Traditional. Tradition. And we'll go right here and we'll go right. Boom. And we'll go right. Boom. There we go. Put those in. And that means we're going to have more babies coming out. Which is not a bad thing. Okay, that didn't work well up here. I mean, almost to the point where I don't even want to leave it there. The needle in front of the bundling right here. Okay, we can do that. Do, 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 do. Needle in front of bundling. Do the flippy thing. Cha-ching, right there. Come back up one. Boom. Mm. Okay, you're making it smaller right here, but you know what? We'll do that. And I'm actually going to go ahead and, for the first time, pull those two out. Boom. And let's go ahead and scrap those roads that are up here. Like that. And so we got the needle here. I think I, doggone it, you know what, that's bothering me. I, I, want it, I want the opening here. This is more the, like the main alleyway over here. Housing check, we're still the same. Wow, this is filled out nicely. But we're still not getting a lot of logs. Is this thing even producing logs yet? Oh my gosh. Well, that's going to save us. Three logs. And we got studentes. Holy crumbs. Oh my god, I got a plot here without anybody in it. More tobacco. One, two. And you know what? Let's get a trader up and running so we can do something with it. This almost looks like it'll go right to this alcove where we can stick a trader. And it's close enough to here that we might be able to get some firewood production going and maybe trade firewood, which is something I never trade for some reason. But I think we might have a native trader. Do -do 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 -do. Fish. Gatherer. Maybe not. Medicine. Burial. No. Which trader did we use? Did we use the four? Does the plantation have a trader? Do, 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 do. School, chapel, fort, barn, well, fence, plantation. Those are houses. Boom. Same thing as the other one. No. You do not have a trader. Forest trader. I think the forest might be the closest thing we can get to a trader for the natives. Any any ideas on a native trader? I know that there's one on ground that doesn't go to the water. I don't even know if it's here. Native trader. But see, this one doesn't go on the water. This one just kind of sits, sits out here like this. Let's see this flip. Nope, doesn't fit there. Probably back here, right there. And we can come down here. There's if we if we absolutely needed it, we could stick it right there. And I don't know if it'll go. Oh my gosh, it will go there. And if we put it there, that will allow us to put in more tobacco if we have to. 
So I think we're going to do that. Let's drop you right here. Now, the only downfall to this is it might use Indian artifacts like the arrowheads and native items for trading. And if that's the case, we'll just pretend the building doesn't exist. I think I'm going to go with this trader. Trading post. Because this is where we're pulling the furrier stuff out of. And if we were going to do the flippy thing, flip, flip, nope, flip, flip, we were right to begin with. And we want to line it kind of up in the alcove. Nope, wrong way. One more, one more, one more. Oh my gosh, this one sits on ground also. Hold the door, stop. Oh, can't hit pause. Doggone it, I, that's driving me nuts. Ombre. Ixnay that one. And I think I'm going to go in favor of the, where is it? Where is it? Don't light up. Gosh, darn it. There it is. I think I'm going to go in favor of this one. I just don't know where I'm going to put you yet. Well, by golly, right next to the school. Cool. That way the, the little school kids can go by their... I'm going to speak from experience of being a teacher. They can go by their tech decks. Because for some reason, the kids love tech decks. And they love their slime for some reason. Yeah, different facets. Oh my God, we do have different facets. What's going to look nice? Do we go to the log cabins? Ooh, that's light. That almost looks like it'll fit. That's almost too rough. You know what? Doggone it. We're going for rustic. That answered that question real quick. What do I need? Oh, just logs. Awesome. I don't know what they're going to trade, but we'll make it work. Maybe look through the trader's standard menu with the native theme. Yeah, you know what? We could have done that too. Um, I need you to tell me what type of fisher, fisher person do we use? Do we go with this one here, which is the total OP fisherman um, right here, right here? Or do we go with something out of the native set? Because this native set here does have its own fisherman. And I got a feeling you're going to tell me go with the native set. Which I'm not opposed to. I just have to find a road that goes out to a point. Like maybe this one here. Bring it out to this point. I'd go with the native fisher. Okay. Keeping it true to style. So let's go ahead and... Maybe we'll bring that road. Let's see where that road takes us. And I'm going to flip. Flip, 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 flip. Don't fall out of your seats. And we're going to... Oh, no. That's budding in the way. Maybe this road here will take us up to this point. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, what is this? We have inserts. Boom. Come on up. You know what? Even though it's not perfect, you know what? We can make that work. Oh my gosh, that's even better. You know what, though? I don't know if we want to come up all that way. Let's bring you to there, and then we'll see where we can run this fisher person. The sun just came out again, so it's getting bright. I might start making ugly faces if I get blinded. Okay, here we go. Let's um, come over, come over, come over, and uh, do the flippy thing. Flip, 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 and put you in. D does this even have a ring of influence? No, it doesn't. Well, then, I don't think it really matters where we put this if there is no ring of influence on it.
Well, right there, maybe right there. So cha-ching, make it happen. And now we're going to get some fish action going. We'll put a little storage bin up here for them. Uh, me as well. Okay, all right. So we are all in agreement that we did get the right one up there. And I think what we need to do for our friendly fishermen now, look at, oh my gosh, our housing took off on us. Housing check. Do, 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 do. We need four. So the fisherman is obviously going to get one house. So let's go back to the teepee set, which we're actually, no, we're not on it. Do, 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 right here. And flip, flip, flip. And we'll give you a teepee. Just like that, Dar. And I'm thinking right across the street, we'll put a little storage. And we know this is not little. <laughs> so I think we're going to actually go with the very small mini storage one. Which actually is the biggest icon here. But it's the mini storage. Because I like... God, I love the mini set. If you've watched any of my other games... You know that already, because that fits perfectly right across from that. So cha-ching, make that happen. And so this is contained up here. Now we need three more houses. I think we're going to continue this build here. So let's grab Moss Teepees. And do the flippy thing. Come up here. One here. And are we five across? Yes, we are. Right there. You know what? We may be able... To, it would be nice if one more would fit perfectly here. Yeah, it does. Boom. But you know what? We're going to put a pause on you. Until we need you. Now, should we start filling in some of this two stuff here? And if we do fill it in, what do we fill it in with? Just out of curiosity, what do we got? We still have beef. So by golly, the first thing that comes to mind is a butcher. We also have pear and apple, which brings some type of a tavern to mind oats there's our stable I don't even know how to use this stable but and that's a big but I wonder if the other stable fits nicely right back here because then we can start getting into the animal pens Do, do, do. No, you're too big. No, you're too small. By two. Can we squeeze you in someplace else? Nope. That's not a nice fit. That's not a nice fit. But what if we do this? Flip, flip, flip. That's not even a nice fit, but that is right there. Oh, then what do we do with this open space here? You know what? Maybe that's our answer right there. Put that in like that. Okay, we'll fly with that. I'm going to put you in right there. And I'm going to have to figure out what we're going to put in that little square right there. Maybe a well. No, don't like that. Okay, what are we doing here? Small bee shelter back to back in the middle. Right here. Do, 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 do. That'll work. That'll go four across. Four across. Okay, a mini butcher, I think it is a two, 
There's also a creamery and a nomad well. Okay, so we're going to take our chances with nomads again. So let's go in order. Um, whoops, I just scrolled over to there. Native Fisher check. Oh, is it built? It is. Let's get our... Oh, there's only a sink? Okay. Oh, wait, where did he go? Where did he go? <laughs> where did he go, George? Okay. Well, now we got a Fisher dude or dudette in there, which is cool. Boom. All right. Let's go in order. Small bee shelters back to back. We can do that. Do we want to use random or do we want to declare what we want? So we can either go with the random bee shelter, which is this one. Or we can go with this one where we get to select what we want. I usually always go with the selection one because I don't need the royal jelly for the healing because I normally have an herbalist up and running. Uh, I like the selection one. Good. So do I. Here we go. And you said back to back. So flip and we'll put you right there. And this is going to be totally anal of me to do this. But I actually want to line up my barrels so they're facing in the right order also. So here we go. Flip. Oh, no, that's the wrong button. This one. Flip. There we go. For some reason, I like the barrel on the road. So there's one. Boom. And then we're going to go. How do I flip? Gosh darn it. Rotate. Boom, boom. And that barrel is also on the road up here. So, cha-ching, we got two bee shelters in. Take that out of the chat window. Go ahead and frame it just because we can. Oh my God, it lined up with that road. How perfect. Okay, next thing on the list was a mini butcher. I think there is two and also a creamery. Okay, let's go to the butchers, butchers. Where would you be if you were a butcher? That's a good question. Here, cha-ching, butchers, cha-ching. Okay, what do we got? We can specify a cow butcher because we do have beef is our biggest producer and it is a little bit large and maybe too modern for our taste. I can't tell. Let's come over a little further so we can see this thing. Okay, there's one. It's a little bit large for what we're doing. Okay. What are you? Oh, make sausages. Well, there's our Solvang butcher. Oh my God, and you are a chopping block. Okay. Well, chopping block will fit if we choose to go that route. So we'll leave that one open. This one has too much stuff. That is the same as that. Bryce's Butcher. Another chopping block? No. Bryce Beef? Oh my God, it's huge. Llama, same as the sheep and the cow. Tiny Butcher. Do, 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 do. It is tiny. Rotate. It is rustic because we can give it the, that look to make it blend in. And I like the selection. Oh, okay, th that was for the beehives. Okay. Let's, let's make this one work. And you know what? I might want to leave the butchers open a little bit. And we need to get it closer to storage. So let's see if we can start building. Oh, by golly, it ah, nuts. It doesn't quite fit there. 
But you know what? We may want to put it in up here. Let's start with this one. And I'm going to flip, 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 flip. And I'm going to put it right here. Like this. And that way we're leaving this open in case we need to put more butchers in of different meats and or cuts. So you're going to go right there. Now, how does this sound? Maybe a smokehouse up here, like a tiny, something out of the tiny menu or out of the bitty so that they can smoke some fish. Let me know if that works for you. And Saskia can give us a yes, 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 or a no, no, no. Well, there's our butcher. I'm going to go ahead and put somebody in. Okay, what do you make? Bear. How many beef items? We got beef. Beef. Two beefs. So let's go ahead and put two butchers next to each other. We're also getting pork. So that would mean... And are there any other meats that we're bringing in? Mutton? Mutton? No mutton. Okay, we can roll with this. So beef and pork. So let's go ahead and put in a second beef butcher right next to there. Yes, I'm going to put somebody into you already. So we're going to get steak. Now, let's grab the second butcher. I didn't even look at... Oh, that's too much stuff. Okay. And we're going to... Oh, we want the same rustic look. Otherwise, there it is. I'm going to start taking things out again. We're next to it. Give it a space. Oh, crumbs on a biscuit. Don't hit pause because I'm going to get yelled at. Where's my delete button? Mm, 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 mm. My fat fingers put made that happen. Okay, well, while they're taking that out, we get to find it again. <laughs> crumbs, crumbs, crumbs. Tiny butcher. Here we go. Uh, do, do. There's, that's the rustic look. Yes, one, two, three, come on down to the road, and in it goes. Oh my gosh, my people are cold. Okay, open up the wood guy here. Do, do, do. do we have logs? Do we have, we do have logs. Come on, woodcutter, save us. So that's telling me we probably need to keep a full-time woodcutter now. And maybe even drop in a second woodcutter. That will not break my heart if we do. Okay. We'll get to that when we get to it. And they're building this. Man, I've got people standing around doing nothing. You know, if nothing else, collect resources. Let me make this small... Oh, wait. Housing check. Oh my god, we need houses. Okay. Do, 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 do. And people are cold, so that's not cool. Do, 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 do. How many do I need? 23, 3, 2, 7. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's see, where are we? I'm, fa I'm phasing out again here. There's that. And let's go ahead and put in another row here. So one there, one, two, come here. One there, over here. One there. And we had one. Oh, let's open this one up. Boom. Let's see where that puts us in our housing check. We need stone. Okay, 
Oh, you know what? That also brings up if we're going to be needing stone, I don't want to. I don't want to do an Easter Island mistake and use up all of our resources. We've addressed that. You are going to make sausages. Okay. And I guess technically we could have dropped in one more. We'll, we'll get to that bridge when we get to it. Yeah, the Easter Island mistake. You use up all of your resources without replenishing what's on the ground. And you know what? Grab all that. And now let's figure out how are we going to get stone? We may also want to entertain crossing the river. And I think I'm going to cross on this little plateau right here and bring it across. So, true to form, I think we're going to go with a wooden bridge. There we go. There's the bridges. Should we just go generic wooden? What are you? Bridge crossings, small bridge, covered. I don't do the covered stuff for some reason. And we got... I think this is... This is the generic small wooden bridge. What's the difference between a small wooden bridge and a wooden bridge? I don't know. We'll, we'll just take this one. Do, 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 do. And right there, let's bring it across like that. Cha-ching. Let them build that. And... I think we're going to take this and come down to... No, we can't come down. Should we do this? I don't know yet. That's good enough. They'll, they'll find their way over if they need to get there. Okay, what else do we have going on here? Oh, why did we not put anybody in here? No, we want sausages boom and put two people in where are they going okay that's good what do we got here okay oh you should totally reserve space for bison pen in the native area oh you know what that would be something I mean, bison were out on the plains, but it would be kind of cool to have them. I'll do that. And once again, we'll use the log longhorns, leghorns, as the ostriches in here. Very nice next to the apiary. Okay, what are we putting in next to the apiary? Smoke. I like the smokehouse idea. Yes, yes, yes. And so the smokehouse goes next to the apiary? Or does the woodcutter go next to the apiary? I'm going to venture to say that the woodcutter goes next to the apiary and the smokehouse would go up where the fishing village is up here. And I've got some question mark action going on. Oh, those are my two beehives. Okay, let's get them going. So, uno, dos. And we want honey. I think we do want honey for both. And then we might want to get a mead brewer going. Let's go ahead and raise this limit. Because the mead brewer, and actually I didn't look at my flax, but the mead brewer and the flax are both things that will fit into these little two spaces. Now you wanted another woodcutter in over here, so let's come across. Why is it not coming? Am I saving? Uh-oh. Well, I didn't want to have to do it that way, but we'll see. Okay, woodcutter is a two. 
we're if we're gonna go here I think that's a three so you know what would go neck nice here would be the mead brewer and I think we might we're right across the street from the school <laughs> there you go that would be interesting and you know what we might need over you know what I'm thinking more stockpile Do, 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 do. We can put the village woodcutter in behind or right next to here. Let's take a look and see how that looks. So I'm going to flip, 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 flip. And we're going to bring it down, 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 down. And maybe keep that stockpile there. Get the village woodcutter, which is another one that I use a lot. And you're going to give me my flax. You just don't know it yet. Boom. Where's my village one? That's not it. That's not it. It's someplace. Boom. That is it. That's the one. And we're going to flip it. And it's going to fit nicely right there. Now, do we want that stone wall? Or do we want the shed? I don't know. Stone or shed? Stone? Shed? Maybe the shed just by looking at what's next to it. Stone! Oh my gosh. I did not call that one. But there we go. Boom. That's in. And here we go. Boom. That's in. Awesome. Let's go ahead and actually frame the whole thing just because we can. Boom. Okay, there's a woodcutter. And as long as we're framing things, let's going to continue around here, right to thar. Fill this in. 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 To two. And that's all she wrote. Okay. And assign a woodcutter. Cool. Now, a trading. We still need some river trade action going on. What's going on with this person? A trading post inventory. I don't even know how this one works. I think we need to put stuff into it but I don't know what to put into it. Where did we find it? Did it? Was it under here? I don't think so. Trader, trader? No. It was... It wasn't there. I do not know where we found this trading post. Let's go under traders, I guess. Trading posts? Trading posts? This might give us something and you know what you guys have probably mentioned this already in the uh in the chat and i just didn't see it the general trader will not bring seeds or livestock so we're not going to use that tiny trader industry dries foods small large trader Jetty, industry, bitty, small, mini. Well, okay, a bit surprising you've got full hearts without any herbalist. <laughs> That's because they love me. No, <laughs> not going to go there. Um, let's... Uh, it might be fun to get an herbalist in. I don't know where to put it because we kind of exhausted this whole area here. Do we even have herbs? No, we don't. If we needed herbs, we can always put one of the 
these little bee shelters over to uh, Protein Healthy right here, the Royal Jelly. And I think the bees wax will make candles. But right now I want to get my little tavern dude in. Okay, we put the wood in, so that's good. We're getting fire. We don't need this. Let's go ahead and get the tavern guy put in there. If I could remember where he was. I think he's under luxuries. 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 Taverns. Brewers? No, he was a little mead brewer. Luxury tavern? I don't think it was under luxury taverns. No. I think it might be under here. Right there. There's my mead brewer. Oh, but he needs iron. Doggone it. Iron. Okay. And I don't want to go looking for iron right now because I'm going to get yelled at for deviating off of the game plan. Do we need more? Oh, whoa. Oh, I, I can, I will be able to continue my housing over here. And why did I put six in? Okay. I don't know why I did that, but. Let's see where we're going to draw this line here. I don't know. A cart for metal. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. Marlene said something that was true. Let's see. A new woodcutter. Stone. Stone, stone. Okay, stone woodcutter. Surprising for full hearts. I think you've got that traitor out of the same set as the beaver dam. Let's go with that first. I'm going in order. Beaver dam, beaver dam, beaver dam. Right here. Cha-ching. And trader. Trading post. Okay. The trading post trades goods for furs. So do I have to put fur into this thing? There we go. I think that's our... Um, what is on our dam over here? I just squirreled when I saw that. Are you a beaver or are you a person? Oh my gosh, it went away. Oh, are we getting fur? Oh my God, we're getting furs. Okay. Where do you live? <laughs> that, that's my question. Are you in part of here? A worker and a forester. By golly, I'll bet you you're part of this group right here. Okay. Let's get some type of furrier action going on here. Yeah, I think. And then we can fill the trading post. So. Let's take a look at our furriers here. It makes clothing from furs. No, I want... Fur tra a trapper produces furs. That's what we want, right? Hunting blind. Oh my gosh. Is that a duck blind? No, that's not a duck blind. This one, a furrier makes warm clothes from furs. No. This one produces furs. I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay. You know what? Let's do something experimental. We're going to put you... Do you have a ring of influence? No, you don't. So I am going to put you over here. Different facets? Yes. What do you got for facets? You've got this. Oh, that's the rustic looking thing. And you got that. And you got that. I'm going with that one. Different roofs? No. And you will fit 
Well, you will fit right there. What's the other one? This dude. You will fit right there. So I'm going to start with you right there. Facets. Rustic. Rustic. There we go. Okay, so you're going to go right there. Boom. We're going to take that other furrier thingy and put you right there. That's the rustic one, too. So cha-ching. And now, between these two, maybe they're going to stick something in here. Be back, need a drink. <laughs> I, I need a drink also. But anyway, true mar. Okay, where did we stop off at? Trader out of the same set. Yes, we did. Furs from the dams. Yes, we are. True Marlene. True Dat. Uh, a cart for metal. Okay, there we go. Let's see if what we can do about getting some iron from a cart. Do 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 do. Trader, trader, and is this my cart one? I don't think this is my cart. Are you my cart one? Yes, you are. There we are. Which one of you is gonna bring me iron? Fruits and veggies, no. 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 Even though that would have given us fur. Products from the mines. Cha-ching. And you're a double wide. How ironic that you are a double wide. Where can we put you? I'm almost thinking over here yonder someplace. Do, 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 do. I want to get another stockpile out over here. That was quick. <laughs> I got some hot tea. Oh, wow, man. You must have zapped that tea real, real fast. Okay, here we go. Where do we want to put this? This looks like it's kind of industrial back here, so that would fit nicely. We still need a smoker out here. Maybe a smoker on one side and a drying shack on the other. Do, 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 do. Let's see. We Can we start filling in? Oh, my God. It fits nicely right there. So you know what? When something fits... Boom, stick it in. That, that didn't sound good, but anyway, we'll, we'll roll with that. Anyway, here we go. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Make that happen. And now we're good. Ah, there we go already. Perfect. I see limits, which I don't want. So make that go away. And make that go away. Enclose you. We also got some furry people here. Ran water through the coffee pot earlier and it was still hot. Apery. Next to the... Okay, we did. Yeah. Awesome. We're on the same page. Let's get some of these furry people going. Furry people? That didn't sound right either. And you know what? I think we might just run another road along the outside here and get a second beaver dam going. For now, I think we can get by with with one. Here, I'm going to try to get by with one. And let's go ahead and box this thing in. So there's our ring of influence. I'm surprised we can still see it. Uh, come on over. Grab the road. Ah, nuts on a biscuit move this so that stays there now road will take us to let's go out to there even there maybe and of course we can't see it but let's go get that beaver dam do, 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 do. where were you where were you i will find you do you believe this? That's not it. There it is. Burrier, beaver dam. And do the flippy thing. 
And let's zoom in a little so we can see where it's nicely centered. Because I am all about aesthetics. Too heavy on the left. Still heavy on the left. That's almost. I don't know. I'm thinking that. Boom. Okay. And take the road out to it. Boom. There we go. We may want to entertain some housing out over in this area. And I still, if this doesn't do anything for us, I might scrap this one in favor of the other trading posts. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, I thought you might have had some kind of nuclear water heater. No, that's going to come in Fallout Shelter in the next game. But it's going to be a while before we see nuclear. I'm going to go ahead and put somebody in here, but that's going to mean we need to get housing. I almost think I should have put the furrier stuff over here. So let's go ahead and start off with that idea. Let's go ahead and doggone it, that's a long way to run just to work a dam. Okay, close you for now. We'll get back to this. I want to, do we need more housing? Yeah, we're still short on housing. Do you believe that? Okay, I can't hit pause. Shoot. Maybe start another block over here. And I think we're going to try to keep the same pattern going. Up over. I'm going to flip. Flip, 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 flip. Just like this. The next thing we're going to address is the smoker. So let's come up here. And I'm going to try to get... Let's see what we got in the tinies as far as smokers go. I don't even know if smokers have their own designation. Smoke house, salting house, old smokery. Okay, these are the ones that I normally use in my protocol. So these are big, like that. I want to go with something smaller. Like, see, two and eight. This is cute. So we got this smoker here for 18 and 26. Ooh, that's out. That looks like the bitty one. Do the flippy thing. And that's is that log or is that stone? I can't tell. Anyway, and that's the only one that it is. No, no other facets. Okay. Uh, what's preservist? Preservist smoker. Oh my God, that's even smaller. I don't know if I want to go that small, even though, oh my God, does that look cute right next to that? Oh my, that, I mean, this it's almost like he's got a campground over here. What are you? Chinnery. Tiny smoker. Well, that is not tiny. Nope, not tiny. Preservist, preservist, and now we're getting into the big things. Yeah, too big. So, do we... There, There is a one tile... Yeah, so do we want to go with this one? Let's call this the four tile, or do we want to go... <laughs> the few tile, or do we want to go with the single? So single or four, and you can just type in the number one, or the number four? One. Okay, we're going with one. I'd say sing. Oh my gosh, It we have a unanimous decision. Yeah, we'll go here. It's not like we're hurting for space. So cha-ching. Put you right there. Oh my God, what are they doing here? Why did this place become so popular? We are full. Oh my gosh. I can't hit pause. 
Should I have put it on this side and then put another storage barn here? Maybe so. Why don't we... God, I wish there was something else we could have put over here. You know what? I'm going to roll with what we got here. We'll try to make it look pretty. Put a, put somebody in there to get fish smoked. And we'll just let them run with that. Okay, a bigger storage barn. Okay. We can do that also. And do we want to put the bigger storage barn up here? Or should we consider in the village area. And I don't know, the Celtic one is kind of growing on us, so maybe we'll go back to that one again. This one here, was it under regular storage? This one, the Vikings. And we could go up here, flip it, You know what? We can make that work. We'll just give it a little bit more frontage. And oh my God, does it fit nicely right there. If it's a big storage, put it in the village. By the way, the food is going down. I have. Why do we not have tools? Okay. We need to get the... Let's get this thing put in. I don't know if that's the same color green or not. Oh, that's bright green. I'm going to go with bright green because that looks bright over there. Boom. I'm putting you right there. Now, let's go back and revisit our needle pointer and the tool maker in the native village. Boom. Needlework. And this guy. Blip. You will fit right there. But you know what I might want to do? I might want to pull you back. Let's come this way. How about if we go right there and we put another stockpile in over here? Let's try this like that. Are you on the road? Yeah, you are on the road. So you're going to go in right there. Cha-ching. We're going to grab the needle person and we were going to put the needle person facing which direction? Maybe into the bundling shed. And then we can put a stockpile right inside there. Nope. Needle person needs to stay clean. Boom. There we go. So they can go from school to learning needle point. Boom, right there. And stockpile. Boom, boom, boom. And boom. Now let's go ahead and frame those in. Oh no, what happened here? Ah, I know what happened. That happened. And if that, ha I can't hit pause. Oh, got it. Boom. Actually, boom. Why is it not? Oh, I need to remove structure. Don't put anything in my stockpile. There we go. Now let's go ahead and put stockpile in. There, there. Ah! There. Okay, and let's get a tool maker. What kind of tools can we make? Oh, wow. We've got iron. Yeah, buddy. Boom, there we go. Iron tools. What kind of needle stuff can we do here? Hides out of leather. For some reason, I, I'm thinking we probably got a lot of leather. 
800. Yep. Give us some hides. Ching. Did I cut this road off over here? And I'm not ignoring you in chat. I'm just trying to get my bearings here. Right there. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, we got that. And do you have any inserts over here? Yes. Boom, boom, boom. Right there. Oh, my gosh. Awesome. Okay, that's in. Let me catch up over here. Single on the... the okay, one. See if the Viking stock vault is full. Yes, it is. Man, we got smoked fish in here already. Wow, sausage. Oh, my God. We are going to have a strong soul. Well, knock on wood. Apples. I think it's time. Well, we need tools. Can I put in more than one? No, I can't. Do I have a... I don't have a second smitty yet. But you know what? I think we may have to entertain a second smitty. Let's... Um, we can either do another another cart for the we can do another cart for tools. Dude, look at the apple. You smell cider. I smell strudel. Um But yeah, either one of those are going to work. Boom. Boom. And I never did get my inserts put in here. Got those put in. Oops. Come up one. Okay. And are you going up? Yep, you are. Oh my god, you go through? Okay. Let's see. Apples. Okay. Let's do... Let's do some type of a tavern. And I think our housing also sucked. Well, we only need eight. No, eight. Yeah, okay. Let's see where we're going to put some more housing in. I was thinking maybe something over here. God, I don't want to spread them out, though. And we don't have a market. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not, but we're not sporting a market. Let's see if we can get, let's go back to housing and just see where they where they would fit nicely. That's gonna go to here, that's gonna go to here. Um, first thing I'm looking at is right here. And no, nah, that wouldn't quite go nice. Even though there, and then we go one, let's start up here. Oh my god, there's our... We actually ran for three hours. Of course, first hour was waiting for nomads. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, that fits too nicely, so we're going to do it. One here, one... Go up to here, go one. Boom. We're doing that. So there's two houses. And I guess we can drop a couple more in right here. So one here and one there. And I don't want to put another house here because I might do butcher shops. But we can always put housing behind the butchers. We may want to entertain another smitty. And I may just stick with these for now. So let's go back to that village thingy and pull another tool maker and maybe get some tools going on this side over here. If we can find a place where it would go nicely. I don't want to go next to the stable because that's going to startle the animals. Maybe somewhere over here behind <laughs> behind the school that'll really help the kids study there we go that kind of lines up nicely there 
right there, or just go behind the other smitty. Should we go? Should we go behind the other smitty? That would look like this. Boom! Right there. That almost looks like a nuclear plant. But yes. Okay. Boom. Make that happen. And then that's going to get us some more tools. Two. Okay. And that's all she wrote. That's it. Okay. And once they build that, we'll go to more iron tools. We still need to figure out how we're going to bring stone into our area. And where are we going to do stone? It looks like the dense tree shack is giving us what we need. And now we do have firewood. Food. I don't know what happened with food, but it just shot up again. That is weird. Let's see. Let's take a look at the food. This is another thing I never use as a graphs for food. Boy, how is that happening? The only thing I can think about is maybe when we put in the smoker or the butcher's. Maybe that's what caused this rise. I don't know. Like I said, I don't really use that that often. Okay, apples. Now the beef is going down. Apples has preceded it. And the tobacco is off the charts. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, for one thing, it means we should probably start trading. Oh, do we have to do the curing thing with it? I don't know what that sh what that building is called where you cure the tobacco. But you would think that they would have that in the set. Let's get a trader going. Dog, by golly, Miss Molly. We can do I think I'm going to do the trader on the industry side. And I'm thinking over here, maybe some reeds coming along here. And then that way we can get into our basket weaving and our survival coats. And then we'll look for a place to put some duck blinds, maybe get some duck blinds up here. What do we got here? Curing is in the fire hut. Okay. Uh, see what the smoke tent is producing. Are you the smoke tent? Yes, you are. Well, you're getting us pipe tobacco, I guess. Okay, so is the pipe tobacco the cured leaf? And if it is, do we need a second one of these to keep up with the demand? I guess we can always turn one of these off if we had to. Okay, let's... um. Gosh, I really want to get a trader going. Where were, where's, okay, traders, we're going to go here. And we don't know which one we're going to use. So let's flip. Do, 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 right to thar. So we'll use traders up here. We'll use duck blinds and fishing over here. And we'll use reeds and maybe the, um, Seafood scavengers over here. But the reeds should have already have gone in. I think you need a second fire tent. Okay, we can do that. Let's get this another person here making iron. Traders. Let's which trader are we gonna use? I don't think we ever came to a consensus on traders. Trade buildings, specialized traders. 
I don't want a specialized trader. I just want a trader that's going to go nicely with what we got. And I still don't know if this guy is doing anything. No. Nope. Oh, I am so going to tear you down because I have no idea what you're doing. Okay, traders. We need something that's going to fit the theme. And a bitty trader. Small port. Thompson, no. Edo, sounds Japanese. Mini trader. The jetty trader, really? Wow, I would have associated the jetty trader with the, um, with the canal. But you know what? I've never used this. So, doggone it, let's make this happen. Ooh, interesting. Okay, oh, so it just sticks out there like that. Awesome. Now, where can we put you? If we come here, we can actually get two of them in here. One, one two, three. Actually, we could probably get four of them in if we wanted, or three of them in if we wanted to. Let's see where we're going to go. Do, 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 do. If we came off of that road right to here, boom, boom, boom. Okay, right there. So there would be, let's go here. One, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three. Okay, three jetty traders are going in. And you know what? Let's go ahead and put a pause on these right now so that they can concentrate on the one. Do, 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 do. A second fire tent. You know what? Yeah, we'll see. Let's let's get that going. I We may need some more. How's this storage doing? Oh my God, this one's full. Are we really producing that much? Let's, oh, I so badly want to knock that down. Storage, storage barn. I really also should think about ending this episode. Do, 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 do. Will you fit nicely here? Oh my gosh, you will. Oh, what is a stock vault? Oh, well, I think that's what we've been using. And you know what? That stock vault is going to benefit us a lot more than this thing. Because you are not working at all for us. So I'm going to take my person out of you. And we're going to get rid of you. Just like that. Now, it'll be interesting to see what you bring in. And you know what? Doggone it. I'm going back to my old style. Just open everything. Just because I want to see what this, this is going to attract. Normally, I don't go for the stone shack. But for this theme, I agree with Saskia. It would fit better than a quarry. Okay, stone shack, baby. Stone shack, baby. And I'm thinking maybe put the stone shack across the river. And just to get it out of our region. I don't know. Is that going to really screw things up if we start spreading out like that? Because it would really look but ugly if we put it next to this. As a matter of fact, it would also impede on our houses. Or we drop it down into this area. Now we have a river, we have a bridge going across to here. We could put it on this little bend right here. But that's, I'm thinking that's too far out of the way. Do, 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 do. Is it this one? Is it this one? Is it, there's the radius. And we can, oh my gosh, it will fit right there. Well, by golly, Miss Molly, I think maybe we're going to put it right over here. 
okay, against my better judgment, which I'm not saying that my judgment is all there to begin with. Let's go ahead and do this. And I guess we're going to line that up right to there. So now we got two walls that we're going to put the stone shack in on. So let's grab our stone shack baby. Find our front door. Come on over. Do, 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 do. There, there's the door right there, I think. So flip it. And is the stone shack larger than the tree shack? No, but it sure looked like it was. See, how how is that justifying going in? Oh, something is not right here. No, maybe it is, because I'm looking at this up here, and it's kind of running into there. Do, 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 do. You know what? Pull it back. We'll we'll pull it back so it actually matches on the road. So that's on the road, and that is on the road. Let's see which direction this one's going to jump. It jumped up one, and it jumped to the left. Interesting. Okay, so... Stone Shack Baby. It's going to jump up one and it's going to jump over one. So there's our jump up one. There's our jump over one. Boom. Right to there. Right to there. Awesome. Let them build that. And on this one, I think we're going to put our shack, our living shack on the inside. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Here we go. And if I'm not mistaken, we did line it up with the back. There's that. Skip one for the road. Boom, right there. Okay, Stone Shack Baby. And what's going on here? Trader! Oh my god, we got a trader. Boom, trader. And what do we got? Do, do, do. What you bring in? Fancy homeware. We're not that evolved yet. So thank you for stopping by. Oh my God. They're going to be hitting each other if, if we get more than one here. I wonder if I should have spread them out a little bit more. Do, 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 do. Oh no. How about right there and then right there. Boom. That's gone. We already know what's going there. And I should probably consider stopping it now that I got the green screen up. But we're going to do this. We're going to do this. I'm going to grab you. And we're going to... I want the bright roof. Boom. There it is. Flip, flip, flip. And guess what? You're going in right there. Cha-ching. Because you're going to benefit us more than that trader that didn't do anything. All right. Is... There you are. Is there anything else we need to do before we call this the episode? Because I think we're pretty much stuck. Oh, they built that. So first thing we're going to do is upgrade you. I don't think so. Okay. What we might want to do already is take the road from here. bring the road uh, oh my gosh perfect it matches right there and like we did on this one let's go ahead and get the stockpile up did i do the road all the way across the front i think i did and let's go ahead and make this a little stockpile right here and we'll put the stopper, whoops, right here. Boom. Grab the stockpile. And actually, we could specify this one for nothing but 
stone. Right there. Okay, that should be good. Oh, and put somebody in. Stone. I'm only going to put one person in there. Because in that way, the beaver dam person can also live right there. Toolmaker, he is in. Did we ever... Hey, we have recovered from our tool crisis. Awesome. The two homeless people are from this house that's being done. I think we actually have a good place to... I want to get somebody in my stable. Actually, I'm going to get two people in. I never do this, but I want to get my animal pens ready for the next episode. All right. I think we're going to call it the episode right here. <laughs> We're finally doing what we should have done from the beginning. Um, we got our, you know, the, the three basics, food, shelter, and, war and warmth. And so, and we're going in chronological order, where we're kind of building the Shumash uh, settlement first. And then eventually, maybe when we cross the river, we'll go for the mission. And then once we get, I don't know, a hundred plus citizens and maybe a hundred thousand in food, then we'll go ahead and try to build Solvang. But, oh my gosh, thank you for another great, so Marlene, thanks. I think are good. Okay. Thanks, Jane. And you know, guys, thanks a lot for hanging out with me. That, it, that meant a lot. I'm really glad that you gave me a lot of input and that I was able to take your input and put it into this game. So now's the time when I'm going to hit pause because <laughs> should we wait for the, for the boat? <laughs> oh my God. And bring the boat around faster. Just don't have my green screen go away. Boom. What are you bringing? Wow, he's in the middle one again. Cream leeks whale meat. You know what? We're going to call this the episode. I'm going to let you guys tell me if we should buy any of those things. I don't think so, but I'm going to leave it up to you. So I'm going to hit pause. Cha-ching. And no more. No more gameplay. Nah. Okay, let, let the thing go. We'll let him go. Now... Word from our sponsor. If you are watching me on Twitch, please hit that follow button. If you're watching me on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button. If you do either of those things, or if you already have, please tell 10 family, friends, or pets about my channel. If you don't know 5, 10 family, friends, or pets, tell 5 of them twice. There's the hamster. Booze coming next. If you don't know five people, buy yourself a hamster. Name the hamster Boo. <laughs> and doggone it, show it some love. Get Go out, buy it an apple strudel or something. Keep it to theme. Sausages. Sausages always work well also. I am Grumpy Gnome. I'm out of here. Actually, until tomorrow. I'll see you again tomorrow. Maybe. Tomorrow's Saturday. Definitely Sunday. Thanks a lot for coming on this ride with me. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. And click and...